pajamas. Yes, so as you can see, I'm still wearing the same shirt as the one I was wearing in my reaction video on my my internet as part of a wish best performance. But yes, magkasunod ko silang nereaktan. So for this reaction video, we're going to react on RM Still Life. It's actually one of the tracks of the 10 tracks in his album Indigo. And if you haven't watched my reaction video yet on his song Wildflower, the subtitle track, by the way, the link is at the description box down below. Honestly, I've already heard the song because I always stream his songs in his album like every day. <laughs> so the song still like it's fun, it's funky, it's catchy, it's engaging. We've known RM as a rapper, right? It's what he's really good at because it's his genre. But in his album Indigo, he actually tri tried it. 10 different genres. 8 are collaborations. The genres actually include boom bop, urban, city pop, folk, funky style. And actually question himself, what would you call this album? What would this album be all about since all the genres are really different from each other? And there is an order of tracks from 1 to 10 and each song actually has a story. There's an origin. 아, 그래도 앨범을 내는 건 1번부터 10번까지 있는 순서의 이유가 있고 여전히 저는 앨범이 특별하다고 생각을 하거든요. 싱글을 내는 것보다. 아무래도 이게 또제 안에서 나온 거다 보니까 장르가 달라도 어쨌든 자연스럽게 묶인 거 같고 그리고 결과적으로 저를 묶는 건 결국 저는 되게 가사랑 정서가 굉장히 중요한 사람이라서 결국 거기서 출발해서 거기서 끝날 수밖에 없기 때문에 되게 다양한 사람들이 차, 참여했고 다양한 장르가 있지만 결국 어쨌든 시작이랑 끝이 있었고 그 다음에 그 정서랑 그 가사들로 묶여서 그런 거 같고 이 노래를 최대한 높은 퀄리티로 만들고 싶었을 때 다른 사람의 주파수가 필요하면 그걸 꼭 빌려오고 결국 저는 앨범이 잘 남는 것도 물론 중요한데 이한곡한 한 곡이 다 남았으면 좋겠어서 근데 결국 다른 사람들의 목소리가 같이 있었을 때 이게 훨씬 더 질리지 않고 훨씬 더 되게 다양하게 잘 들릴 수 있을 것 같아요. So the featured artist here is Anderson Paak. Of course, you all know him. American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer. He is actually with Bruno Mars in an American musical super duo called The Silk, Sonic, and Yeah, Leave the Door Open. Who does not know that song? The Still Life, according to RM, has the most elements of pop. It's actually very popular in Western countries. And he actually decided to feature Anderson Paak in this song, Still Life, because of his funky style. 더잘살것 같은 느낌 노래가 앤더슨이 생각이 난 거예요. 아 앤더슨이 그 가지고 있는 그 펑키함과 그 약간 이런 게 있잖아요. 그래서 그게 오늘 너무 좋겠다 해서 했는데. I'm still alive. Every time I met him, he had awesome energy. He let me know he was a big fan and that he wanted to collab. I wanted to collab too. And when he sent the music, I was like, yeah, this is this is funky. This is good. Like, I'm down. And uh, it all starts with the music and the energy. And once those two are right, uh, the momentum is crazy. So let's go take a look at the music video. Oh, I really like the intro. I like the location. He looks so fine, like he woke up and just decided to look great today. I really like his style. His outfits are so simple. Actually, he's into baggy clothes and baggy pants. But with this simple outfits that he actually always wear, he still can look really cool. It's fun and just funky. I like the concept. Look at him. Look at him. 
he looks really fine in this music video I like his fresh genuine aura here he looks really different I like the genuine fresh aura and if you're actually wondering if Namjoon smells good well I'll tell you what love was actually asked who among the BTS members smells the best and they actually said it's RM so yeah <laughs> I don't even know why that question was being asked member of BTS smells the nicest <laughs> but yeah it smells good Look at him! Oh my god! What? <gasps> there are actually types of different types of rap. There could be a bumping bass of boompa, an atmospheric sound, catchy cat phrases of you know crunk, emo rap, a mixed consciousness of hip hop, RM style of rapping. I guess is something with, if I'm not mistaken, according to what I hear, it has a touch of very original style of hip hop. Well, anyway, when it comes to the lyrics, the lyrics actually dip because it actually has a story on how this song actually came out or how he actually came to an idea of making this a song. If you're actually an art lover like me or if you're interested into arts or you actually appreciate arts and you could actually understand more the meaning of still life or you might probably have already an idea of what the song would be all about if you know what is a still life when it comes to art piece when i was in college i think i made a still life painting but i don't actually know where is it right now but you know just to give you an idea what a still life is it's actually an art piece, a work of art depicting mostly inanimate objects as subject matter. The subject matter of still life are actually objects that don't move, like the flowers on the table, the fruits on the table, a bottle of wine. We all know RM had been into museums because he really loves art and he appreciates art pieces. So he came to know about this still life painting according to him, according to his story. If you haven't watched his album magazine film, the link is in the description box down below. Just watch it. Or his interview in his interview with Zach Sam, you you watch those videos. He actually explained all his songs in his album Indigo. So according to him, yeah, one of his visits in a museum, he actually came to know about this still life painting, and you know he has these thoughts, and he processed these thoughts, and you know he just decided to make it a song title. Genius, right? <coughs> Look into the lyrics. What was really? Let's go back to that. Anderson Park, still life, RM. Okay. And there's a flower drawing right there. Oh, because actually RM said that he saw this flower. The subject of the still life painting that he actually saw in a museum is a flower. And he was amazed by it. Why is the name of the painting still life? It's an inanimate object, but looks like to him, it has a life. It's actually pretty amazing how RM's mind works, right? Like, out of this world. I mean, he gives meaning to everything. He gives meaning to everything. And I think it's one of the most important ingre ingredients to appreciating the goodness in life even more. Actually, I have the personality too. Like, even the leaf. I was walking and I saw it and I picked it up and... I took it home because I appreciate it. There is something in it. I took it home and then I just placed it in my book. It's because I believe that everything in this world, everything that we see, everything that we hear, carries with it something that should be appreciated. No matter how unimportant or unnecessary or useless you think it might be. It's like giving life to everything and RM has that. That's why he was able to write this song because he saw something in that still life painting and actually related it to life you watch his album magazine film he actually explained it how this song was born oh. <laughs> and he actually explained it even further even more in his interview with saxon probably that painting that he saw is this one in the drawing oh
even the side view of Arnie it looks so fine here. It looks so great. I like the idea that he was just sitting there calmly and then his reflection stood. Like the meaning of the song that you are a still life, you don't move but you actually are moving forward. That's how he actually interpreted the still life painting and related it into life. Big brain. An inanimate object that does not move, it looks like it doesn't have a life but actually it has. I actually saw the still life painting. It looks so lively. That's that's why it looks to him like it has a life. I think he actually liked this track in his album because I can see how he actually enjoys the music and the song very much. Anderson's voice is really powerful. He's, he has a very powerful vocal. And stopping still life, blooming once again. We've now moved forward. The music video is just light, you know, it, not much happening in the music video, but speaks so much of the meaning of or the message of the song that it wants to convey. Look how passionate he is in everything that he does. The way he recollects his thoughts and processes them and then put them together into music. He has this incredible balance in everything that 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 life has to offer and he can see the value in his every encounter, wherever he goes, whatever he does. This is actually why RM wished for people to actually look into the meaning of the songs in his album Indigo. Do not just focus on the hype, on the beat, on the vibe of each song, but look deeper, okay? Dig into the song and appreciate the meaning. Because, you know, people get easily attracted or we tend to become more attentive to the vibe, to the melody of the song that we hear, but actually there's more to it. There's more to the sound. When you actually listen to him, how he explains why he was able to write this song or what is the inspiration of this song, the faculty of his reasoning and understanding really amazing. Sometimes when he speaks, or actually always, it's jaw-dropping, like your mind gets twisted and your brain's puffer, like, wait, let me first process the first statement. Because he speaks really deep. I think the message of the song in its simplest terms is that we must just live our lives and go forward. 미점을 다닌 지좀 오래됐을 때였는데 정물을 스틸 라이프라고 하더라고요. 어이 스틸 라이프란 말이 너무 묘한 거예요. 정물이라는 거는 꽃인데 꽃은 살아 있는 거지만 캔버스에서 여기서 딱 박혀 있으니까 어떻게 보면 움직이지 않는 죽어 있는 생명 이게 정물이더라고요. 근데 한국말이랑 완전 다르잖아요. 정물이랑 스틸 라이프. 저는 어떻게 느꼈냐면 스틸 라이프라는 그 말이 저한테 시각적으로 어떻게 다가왔냐면 아직도 삶이라는 걸로 다가왔어요 저한테. 그래서 화가가 물감을 칠해서 어떻게 보면 영원한 생명을 불어넣은 것 같은 느낌이 드는 거예요. 아마 그 화가가 100년 전에 그린 그 꽃은 이미 시들고 죽어서 없겠지만 여기선 살아있잖아요. K-POP 아티스트 BTS RM으로서 사는 삶이 늘 저는 전 시간에 좌대에 올려져 있다는 생각을 많이 해요. 늘 보여지고 있고 사람들이 늘날 보고 있고 난 그걸 의식하고 있고 그러니까 정물처럼 그 캔버스에 거기 이렇게 그려져 있지만 그러나 나는 멈추지 않고 계속 바뀔 것이다. 그래서 나는 정물이지만 멈추지 않는다 해서 멈추지 않는 정물이라는 게이 곡의 서사였어요. And you know still life it's like I feel like it's like I'm still here. So um, as someone that's been in the game for a little while now it's, every day is a blessing and every day I'm really grateful to be able to still do it. And I feel like that's what the song was was saying in uh yeah, man, I was I was having a good time making that. You know, every time Namjoon drops inspiring words, you could actually feel instant relief. Like this song, Still Life. I mean, you would realize after listening to this song, yeah, he's right. What am I doing here? I have a life to live. I don't want to be stuck here. Like that Still Life painting, that inanimate object stopped in that frame, or these things that don't move, like the subjects of a Still Life painting. I might be a Still Life. Like the lyrics of the songs, I'm still alive, but I have a life to live, so I must move forward. You are given a life that you deserve to live, so just live it meaningfully. He actually sees to it every time that he offers us a masterpiece. It's meaningful. I mean, 
Where are all these ideas coming from? How did he think about this? How did he how did he come up with this? But you know, the genuine intention of RF to inspire people is always there. He actually inspires in a creative way. His mind is, you know, artistically pleasing. And you know what? RM's interpretation of life is sweet and special. No matter how life can be so cruel, he sees the good in everything. Thank you, RM and Anderson Park. Thank you so much. Kudos to Anderson Park. You're a really, really good artist as well. Stream Still Life and the other songs in RM's Indigo album. There are actually 10 tracks, all different genres. Each song actually conveys a really good message. So you go ahead, dig into the lyrics for you to appreciate more the tracks in his album. That's it. Thank you so much, Chums, for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also share it. Please stream Still Life, Still Life, Still Life, Still Life by RM. Click the subscribe button down below. And if you want to get updated to my latest uploads, just hit also the notification bell. Bye. See you in the next one.